Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Coach's Corner on the Bridging Impact Podcast Network. I am Coach Furtado, founder of Bridging Impact and your podcast host out here in Los Angeles. And so, Bridging Impact, if you are new, we pass wisdom to the next generation of parents and coaches of youth sport athletes because we want to create the best possible youth sports experience and make sure that they're not only becoming great athletes, of course, but we want to pass on leadership skills that will take them way beyond their years of sports, which is what today's episode is all about. It's all about connection beyond the game of sports. And I want to read you a quote by Nelson Mandela that talks about sports. But before I read you that that connection on sports, I want you to think about in your moments, what has been some of the most impactful moments for you when it comes to sports. And I'm gonna share some of mine here after the quote. So here is the quote. Sport has the power to change the world, has the power to inspire, has the power to unite people in a way that little else does. It speaks to youth in a language they understand. And to me, it's just like a lot of people say that sports is just a game. And while I actually do believe we shouldn't take wins and losses so seriously, sports is more than a game because it's more than just wins and losses. And so I want to really like share a story right now and just how sports is really, and this, this is just one story of many, right? There's so many stories I could probably share, but I want to share this one from when I was in high school. And so when I was, I played basketball and baseball in high school and after basketball season, you know, and when you're a senior and it's probably what, February, March, the end is in sight, right? At this point, I already got into the University of Oregon. I could have checked out and, you know, stopped going to school and and doing all that, you know, the senioritis stuff. But fortunately, I had baseball to look forward to and, you know, with spring rolling around and, we had been the group of our, our team had been playing together for all of us had been playing together for at least three years. And if there were newer athletes on the team, we had played previously on, you know, little league teams or Babe Ruth teams, which is what is in between little league and high school. I'm not sure it's different everywhere. You know, sometimes it's pony league. And so we had just a great group of guys and, you know, we really, I would say that we, you know, at that time, as, as boys, right, you don't want to say, oh, we love each other. But we, we really did love each other. We we enjoyed spending time with each other when we were on the road. And um, we we hung out and, you know, did spend time as a team, you know, outside of practice, outside of games. And that team was just, it was really special. And, you know, we won and it was magical because we went on a playoff run with a number one seed and we ended up winning, winning our first ever sections title. And, you know, that's great. And the victory is great, but that's not the number one reason why I remember that season. Now, if I, if we had won that and we weren't close, you know, I probably wouldn't have the same taste in my mouth, but it was just, there was something about doing it with people that I had been doing it with my whole life. You know, especially because there were some some people on the team that I had played Little League with. And just such a surreal and special moment to, you know, accomplish something with people that you care about and that you're close with. And that, to me, is what sports is all about. It's about the connections. And it's about making connections that go beyond the game. And it's about hanging out outside the field, outside the off the court. Because those, at the end of the day, you know, you go and talk to, so many different athletes and they'll talk to you about the the championship runs and don't let me downplay it. Like that was an incredibly special moment. But the reason I believe it was incredibly special is because the people we did it with and the love we had for each other, even though we probably didn't say it at the time, but we just genuinely enjoyed being around each other. And this isn't an episode on, you know, team building and how to do that. It's more of an episode on, that's something that we really need to value in our teams as coaches and parents and encouraging our, you know, our teammates to hang out outside of sports, because I truly believe that the reason that we were successful and we won 
you know, we weren't the most talented team. We had two of our top players. They were incredible pitchers. That helped a lot. Like, we were talented, I won't lie. But we just got, we, we were excited for each other. And so I want to share a couple of ideas, you know, and there's so many more ideas on, on connections, you know, for for you all that are listening. It's like, number one is like breaking bread. It's like sharing a meal. And that's so important because, you know, Greg Popovich of the Spurs is very, he's, he's notorious for doing that. And that's a part of the Spurs culture. They've won five, five rings in the last two decades. And that's, you know, San Antonio is not a big market. It's not a place that people are going to go to like Los Angeles or New York or Miami just because of where it is. It's like they built a culture and they're really about connection. And if you, I had an opportunity to read an article about um, Greg Popovich and just like how, how much he really cares about the athletes and spends time with them outside of, of basketball, talking about life and current events is, is really incredible to me. And so the other ideas I had were just the next, yeah, the next idea I had was, you know, connecting with other coaches. And I think connecting with other coaches is so important because oftentimes I think we, we think of that we, you know, we shouldn't share our knowledge with other coaches and with other athletes, you know, Oh, they're going to, they're going to steal, they're going to steal our plays and like, no, you're not going to share your plays and your signs or, or whatever it is, but you're going to share, you know, the stories and they're going to connect because like one of the, the podcast episodes I had a while back with Lisa O'Mara, she was just talking about the basketball community and how it's, it's so much bigger than wins and losses. It's bigger than beating your rivals. And because it's about sharing and connecting about a game that we love, it's about a circle that goes inside of another circle. And really being being building friendships that that go beyond beyond the game. And the last idea I had was just like keeping a long term mindset. And I think this this applies to a lot of different things. But it, to me, it really applies to sports, because, you know, a lot of times we want have a short term mindset. And, and we're all gonna I'm gonna face it, I'm gonna make decisions that are that are short, short sighted. And I'm like, Oh, I want to win right now. Like, that's gonna happen. I'm gonna mess up. I'm gonna make mistakes. I've done it before. Because, you know, like, we as creatures, we want to win, because that's where we feel like we belong and yada, 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 you know, but like doing our best to be mindful of making decisions that are best for our long term development and for the our athletes long term development. And so it's like building those relationships that when, you know, they graduate from college, and they graduate from high school, and you know, they have a family, it could be like our baseball team when we reconnected last winter after five years. And, you know, most of us are college graduates or onto new new ventures, you know, we have the opportunity to share those stories and, you know, pick up where it's like nothing left. And it's so incredible what sports can do and just like the, the richness it brings to our lives. And so I just wanna, you know, put a little gratitude, you know, out there in the world for all the, you know, all the great coaches that I have had and the mentors I have had that, you know, maybe weren't coaches, but they helped coach me in terms of my career and my development as a people, as a person, as a people, I'm multiple people now. Um, I want to thank all the, you know, share gratitude for all the coaches I've had the opportunity to coach with here in Los Angeles and my assistant coaches that believed in me the first time I, I was starting coaching in, in Eugene. I want to, you know, be grateful, you know, share my gratitude for all my teammates that I had when I was a player. I think that just, it's really shaped who I am. Sports really shaped who I am. And it's the people in sports that have shaped who I am. And I love this, the sport itself, but it's the, the, the people and the connections that I've made. And of course, you know, last, but most not, most certainly not least is it's my parents, right? Like I wouldn't be able to be living my dreams, speaking into this podcast, might be coaching here in Los Angeles without their, you know, support and, and just who I am and, and pursuing my dreams. So they're the reason that I played sports. You know, I, I actually remember when I was 12, I wanted to quit baseball and my dad just like, let's just play it for a little bit longer. And I, you know what, I ended up enjoying the rest of my 12 year old season. And then I ended up having a magical ride in high school. And I, of course there, there were a lot of times where, you know, I was benched my sophomore year after starting varsity my freshman year, you know, I got cut from the basketball team. There, there are a lot of painful moments in sports, but 
you know, those connections that I've made have made everything so worth it. And I'm so beyond grateful that that's, that's why I want to give back the game. And I'm committed to doing that through bridging impact and wherever I end up going in life, I'm going to give back in the game of sports. I, I just love it. It's something that makes my heart sing. And so I'm incredibly grateful that I get to do that here in Los Angeles. And so I would love um, to, to hear about your stories. I would love to hear what are your favorite moments and if you can comment in, in the section or if you can, you know, shout me out on social media. However, I'd love to share your stories on our podcast because we're all about bridging impact and obviously passing the wisdom, passing the ball to the next generation. And stories are a great way to pass the ball. So make sure that you are subscribed to this podcast so we can get more inspiring sports content and leadership content into your feed. And that way we can you know, continue enriching and enhancing the experience of sports for, you know, our, our young athletes, because they're, they're the future. They're going to be the next generation of athletes or the next generation of leaders of our community. And that's what we want to develop at Bridging Impact. So I appreciate you I, and all your time that you listen to me like that. That means the world to me. Like you could be listening to any other episode. There's so much content out there. So genuine appreciation. And I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. That's how we help grow the message and bridge the impact on another level. And it's all for the kids. So much love, y'all. Have a wonderful weekend. I will coach Furtado out. I'll see y'all next week.